Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we are hanging out at the Heart Lake Hair Salon because I am hoping, 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 hoping that today we might be able to fix something that has been bugging me for a very long time. This is Stephanie. Of course it's Stephanie. We all know this is Stephanie. And Stephanie has got my least favourite hair mould. I mean, it looks nothing like the new cartoon revamp from 2018. Look at this beautiful new hair. She's got these big thick bangs and this long hair with lots of movement in it. It looks really thick. Whereas the hair that she has on the mini doll, well, it's just not my favourite. I don't think it suits her and I don't think it suits her personality. So today we are going to investigate all of the blonde hairstyles that Lego has to offer and there are lots of cool choices and we'll see if any of them suit Stephanie a little bit better than her current hairstyle. So first up, Stephanie is sporty, right? She is incredibly sporty. In fact, here is sporty Stephanie. <laughs> well, it'd be good if we could see her. Let's move our picture out of the way. We'll put it in down here so that we can keep an eye on it and see if we find anything that's just perfect. So sporty Stephanie. So wouldn't you think that if she is doing sport, she wouldn't want her hair all hanging down her back, making everything very hot. So we need some ponytail styles. Now, this one was actually made for Stephanie. It's been in quite a few sets and it's sun smart. She's got a visor on and her hair's up. It'll be nice and cool. So this would be perfect for sportswear, but we can't just settle on that. Let's see what other blonde hairdos we have that are in an updo. This one is her riding hair. And we'll just no, didn't even manage to get that grub off. This is perfect, obviously, for riding. Not going to do so well for tennis or for soccer. Pigtails are very cute, and they actually look like they could be a Stephanie hairstyle because they've got the big thick bangs at the front. They're quite thick with the piggy tails. They're pretty good. What about this one? Oh, it's really, really cute, but it's way too short. <laughs> but she does look adorable. Let's take that one off. Let's see what else we have got. I think we are moving into the realms of the ridiculous now. This is Tinkerbell's hair. And even though it'd be lovely and cool to wear while you are playing sport, Tinkerbell called and she would like it back, please. Now, there are plenty of blonde Disney princesses. So let's see if any of their hairstyles will suit Stephanie. So first blonde princess in is Cinderella. Let's see what her updo looks like on Stephanie. It's very pretty and the Alice band actually suits the color schemes for Stephanie as well. But Stephanie's hair on Cinderella does not look so good. Oh, and Cinderella is not sharing. She has reclaimed her hair and she has left the building. Oh, I forgot about this one. This isn't a Disney princess hairstyle. Where is it? It's so cute though. And I actually think that this could be a Stephanie sports do because she's got nice big bangs on the front and the hair is as long as I think that her hair probably is. And it just, I really think that that suits her quite well for the sports gear. Oh, but there's all these short hairdo styles as well that I almost forgot about because I got all excited about trying out the Disney princess hair. Let's try some of these and see if they suit her. This one is so cute, but now she looks like her mum because that's actually her mum's hair. So let's take that one off. I love the little pixie cut on her. I think that if she was to go short, that would be so good. And actually the fringe, the bangs is perfect. That's what I would love to see on the front of her hair, but long on the back. This one is like a Marilyn Monroe look for her. It's just a little bit too sophisticated for her at the moment, but maybe later on. And this is really funky, but once again, she doesn't have short hair, but I do like this. I think it suits her and it would suit her style, I think, as she gets older too. But these are not gonna work for now. We need long, thick hair with a bit of movement in it and nice thick bangs. But uh, let's uh, see, We've I've had enough of looking at the sporty options. So let's put the plaits on, because this is my pick for the sporty hair at the moment. You're welcome to disagree with me in the comments. Let's see, let's see what other looks we can find for Stephanie. And we're back in Disney princess land and Elsa is going to see what her hair looks like on Stephanie. And even though it's got some really nice height on it, oh, and Elsa looks pretty nice in Stephanie's hair, but Elsa's hair is not going to work for a new Stephanie hair piece. So let's swap these back again and Elsa can take her hair away. Let's see, what about Rapunzel? Rapunzel's hair is blonde. 
but she's got no bangs. It's quite long though. In fact, it's probably much longer than Stephanie's hair actually is, but I'm still gonna try it on there. Oh my goodness. Rapunzel looks slightly crazy in Stephanie's hair. It does not suit her <laughs> at all. So let's swap their hair back again. There you go, Rapunzel. Thank you for letting us try on your hair though. Let's see who else has got blonde hair. Hair. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Alice has got blonde hair and it's long, but it doesn't have any bangs. She doesn't have a fringe, but I think it's a length that would be right for Stephanie's hair. And I like how it's so buffy at the back and really nice and fluffy, but uh, no bangs. So that one doesn't work at all. Let's put our hair back again. Oh, this is not going very well. And no, Alice, no, she's not going to eat the cookie. She doesn't need to be big or small. Take your cookie away. Ah, uh, Susan, who's not technically a Disney princess, even though she looks like one. She has got blonde, thick hair with a little bit of bangs on the front. And I really think this is what Stephanie's hair could look like if she would had it all styled and curled, big soft curls. And I've got to say, Susan looks fantastic in Stephanie's original hair and she has taken it. She's obviously decided that it's for her. So we'll keep Susan's hair for now for one of the choices of Stephanie's new hairstyle. And let's bring in another Stephanie and see what else we have got. I've got a lot of long hair pieces here. This one doesn't have a fringe, but we've got to try it on anyway. I do like how it looks at the back and around the sides, but we obviously need a fringe for it to actually work for Stephanie's look. What about this one? This is entirely wrong. This is just Emma's hair in blonde and we can't have two Lego Friends dolls with the same hair, but Stephanie's run off with that hair. So let's bring in another Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. It's nice of you to join us. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, Luna Lovegood has got long blonde hair and her bangs are actually kind of growing out. They're kind of long on the sides. It's long, but it's not right. So let's remove that and try this one, which has got a little bit of wave in it and no fringe. So that one is a great big no. What about this one is actually, oh, it's a little bit curly. This is actually Olivia's old hairstyle in blonde. And because Olivia's not using it anymore, we're going to use this as one of our possibilities. All right, another Stephanie. We really haven't found anything perfect yet. So I've actually customized some hair pieces. I took Azari's hair piece and I cut off the ears and I painted it, not particularly well, I painted it blonde, almost matched the colors. It's a little bit dark. Let's see whether this will work for Stephanie's hair, if I can get it to go on. There we are. Now, I don't know quite what I was thinking because she doesn't actually have a fringe and it's a little bit like scruffly down the bottom. So that's not gonna work at all, but I can use that for something else. Now, I really, really thought that this would work. This is Supergirl's hair, which I put on the toddler Stephanie that I made. It's got beautiful hair with nice movement in it. She's got lovely thick bangs, which swoop off to the side. It really looks perfect except for the Alice band on it. So I had a go at removing the Alice band. I chopped it off and I kind of fixed the holes with some green stuff, which I painted over. So let's see if this works. In theory, it should, but without the Alice band, it actually looks a little bit strange. And do you know what? I think that the eye prints and the eyebrow prints on the new Stephanie are a little bit lower than the old ones. So the bangs don't come down as far. So it doesn't look as good. Those bangs are actually sitting up a little bit high on her forehead, which makes her look as though the wig's been put on back a little bit too far. But the back looks fantastic. It's just the fringe that looks weird. Maybe I haven't pressed it on hard enough. Let me have another try. Yeah, I think this would look really, really good if I could just get it to go down a little bit further on her head. But this is the best of what we have currently got. And I don't think any of them are perfect yet. And I would really love to see Stephanie. Oh, that's the wrong head. <laughs> Let's, I didn't even notice that before. Let's try that again. Actually, that's just made me think of something. Stephanie's face, new face print changed from the beginning of the year to the second of the year. It's a little bit smaller now. And I wonder if I swap some of these around because this is the smaller face print and this is the bigger one. 
Maybe if I put the smaller face print on the one that was Supergirl's hair, maybe the bangs will come down oh, just a tiny bit further, but it's still not as quite as far down as I would like. It is better, but it's still not perfect. Ugh. Now, what do you think? Do you think that Stephanie deserves a new hair mold to go with her new look? I mean, Olivia got some new hair. Andrea got new hair. Why can't Stephanie have some new hair? It's just not fair. And that rhymes with hair. Now, let me know in the comments if you think any of these hairstyles might almost work. And oh, hold on. Susan's back. Oh, Susan wants her hair back, but Stephanie is not giving it back. I think there's going to be a bit of a struggle over there. So we might finish the video here with lots and lots of blonde hairdos, but none of them perfect. I'm so disappointed. I suppose the next step would be for me to have a go at making some out of polymer clay for Stephanie. So let me know if you would like to see that happen and I will see you for a new video very soon. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.